is called the Pathophysiology Panorama, and it's a research poster exhibition of uh, medical diagnostic medical imaging students from three pro types of programs, uh, radiography, nuclear medicine technology, and diagnostic medical sonography programs. Uh, there's over 70 students here, and uh, this poster presentation culminates one whole semester of work on a particular disease uh, that the students want to study that is either treated or demonstrated with diagnostic medical imaging. This is the 10th year, the Big Ten as we call it, uh, and uh, I started this project when I came here at College of DuPage uh, so that the students would have something to exhibit to the public. You know, many times students do projects in the class and papers, and it stays within house. Uh, this is a way to educate others uh, about medical imaging professions and encourage them to think about it, other students on campus, as well as to educate faculty and the public on uh, these types of professions and what we do. I chose to show the difference between uh, pediatric non-accidental injury and pediatric bone disease. So my poster, Welcome to Parasite, is about the disease ascariasis regarding the parasite, um, the scarus lumbricoids. I chose to do stress fractures. It's a uh, stress-related injury, any kind of repeated force on a bone. I chose this exam because most of the diagnosis comes through um, radiography, which is what I'm involved in. Uh, I, I know a lot of the diseases are rare, but I thought if I, I actually had seen uh, non-accidental injury, I'd be able to differentiate uh, between the two. I picked this disease because it is very, uh, it's not very common. A lot of people picked ones that are more common, more commonly seen. I wanted to do something different that um, isn't, has never been done before. I chose it because I had them myself when I was going through the Marine Corps uh, boot camp, so. I've got them all through my hips, both legs. Uh, they've healed, but they've reoccurred a couple of times. I combined a PowerPoint presentation along with an old Army training video. I spliced up the uh, video and then used that into a movie editor and I just spliced in PowerPoint slides into it. benefit of this type of exhibition in this program is so that students can research, uh, learn research methods uh, in, in medical imaging and the sciences. Uh, De uh, Professor Deborah K. Cook Smith is a very instrumental in providing customized research sessions to show students how to search for credible and scholarly literature to uh, build their research paper and also how to write in APA format. Uh, and to such an extent is that many of our students on their own take their papers and their posters uh, into competition state and nationally. And every year that we have put this on, at least one or more students have won awards. It's beneficial because um, it teaches you how to do hard work, how to do a lot of research assignments, um, how to write a well-spoken paper. Um, and a lot of us in the program, we are going to go on to different modalities, um, different programs, and throughout those programs you do have to do projects such as this, and it's good practice. It gives us a chance to kind of research into some of the pathology, see what everybody else has researched, and gives us a little bit better background on the things that are out there. The COD program is a very good program. It's um, an intense program that covers everything pathology. Um, which is what this project is based on, and as to physics, which is the physics behind the, the, radi the radiation that we're working with. So I enjoy the fact that they cover, it's an all-encompassing program, as, um, and not just the clinical at the site. The instructors are um, very well qualified, um, the PhD, and um, have, are successful in other fields as well. So it's, it's great to have teachers that have, you know, 20 plus years experience in the industry.